Really intense workout, guys. It's nothing too crazy, guys. I'm gonna leave the workout in the description if you guys want to try it out. But uh, yeah, man, this is those squats kill you, bro. But yeah, we're gonna move on to deadlifts. About to go hard, guys. If you ain't going hard right now. If you ain't doing your workout yet, highly recommend you guys pause this video. Go get that workout in. But yeah. Fuego time, man. Check out the description. It's now available. Fuego pre-orders. So let's get it. Nomination. I'm the beast checking in. Hopefully you guys are having a great day. Anyways guys, so today I'm going to be showing you guys a full day of eating. Day of eating. You guys have been requesting me to make this video for a while, but I don't really just like, you know, think about it when I'm eating something. I usually try to do it, but I'm already eating and I'm just like, oh, dude, I forgot to do my full day of eating. So today's a perfect day because you know what? I decided to skip breakfast. I wasn't hungry this morning. So anyways guys, this is probably going to be a basic video, it's not going to be anything too crazy, no fancy editing, uh, maybe just a little, I'll throw in some crazy explosions somewhere around the screen, but uh, today's going to be pretty basic, I'm just going to show you guys meal number one, meal number two, number, meal number three, and you guys can take notes, if you guys are in the military by all means, especially the Marines, we do have access to the chow hall, so I'm going to show you guys some of the foods that I eat personally at the chow hall to stay, stay somewhat fit and ready to go at any moment's notice. Pretty basic stuff right here guys, alright, so I went to the chow hall and I asked Ask for two grilled chicken sandwiches. Boom, right there. That's two nice grilled chicken sandwiches. Now keep in mind, these sandwiches don't taste like the, the best. They're not like gourmet sandwiches. They're just basic bun and chicken and of other um, minerals and ingredients inside of it that make it taste a little awkward. But there's things like salt, pepper, and all that good stuff you know, help make it taste a lot better. So I'm gonna show you guys really quick the end product. So I'm gonna lay these bad boys out real quick. So the chow hall also provides free holes, man. Yes. Free holes, you guys are hearing that right. The chow hall does provide free fried beans. So what your boy's gonna do because he has that inner Mexican, he's gonna add a little bit of beans inside of his sandwich. All right. Pretty basic stuff, man. Some beans, chicken, and salt. This right here, guys, this is why you have to be creative when it comes to your chow hall because sometimes it does get boring. So that's why you utilize everything that comes into the chow hall and you just kind of make it into something great. So um, this is actually really good, believe it or not. It may look nasty, but I'm telling you guys, this is a great source of carbs, some protein, so I'm definitely gonna track this afterwards um, on my fitness pal. In case you guys are wondering, that's the app I use to track my meals and all that good stuff. So yeah, you gotta use your imagination, but this is fuego guys just to kind of satisfy the sweet tooth guys we also got some special k bars that the chow hall did provide so we got two of those we're gonna munch on this and we're also eating an apple guys so about 300 grams of apple so yeah one eternity later alrighty guys so now we are out of work and now we're about to take some fuego man we're about to go hard at the gym so I'm gonna take you guys along talk over the workout because you guys have been requesting a lot of workout videos so that's exactly what we're gonna do today we're actually gonna go with the fruit punch fuego instead of the blue raspberry because I kind of got tired of the blue raspberry so we're gonna go with the fruit punch today um yeah so let's do about a scoop and a half that should be good enough but it'll go away oh my god <laughs> We'll talk about it later on in the video uh, in case you guys are wondering what exactly it is and uh, you know the whole movement and whatnot So definitely stay tuned for that. All right, Goku. We're about to go fuego, man. You ready? Let's do this, bro Before anything else guys, I like to start off with about 10 to 15 minutes of cardio Nice, steady, slow cardio. Um, I usually like to walk or I like to jog a bit, kind of get the blood flowing and let the you know pre-workout kind of hit you and slowly hit. About three right there. And then I raise the incline to about two. So bam, there you go guys.
Alrighty guys, so basic workout, nothing too crazy, man. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. What I like to do during my workouts is I like to implement a lot of high intensity cardio because obviously being in the military, you gotta be light on your feet, you gotta have that endurance. So that's something I do recommend before you go in. Hey, get that endurance up, go running, go add a little bit of push-ups, some crunches, some pull-ups, all those good stuff. But those body weight exercises are really gonna help later on in the future. So that's something I do recommend. I know a lot of you guys are like, nah, oh my God, bro, you've been like the same size for the past couple years. Well, yeah, guys, obviously, you know, I try to stay light, I try to stay lean. I don't really crave that, like, you know, Ronnie Coleman or Jay Cutler type of look. I'm more of the, you know, Zac Efron, you know, kind of like ripped, um, somewhat ripped and, um, you know, lean type of physique. And I just light on my feet. As long as my body is efficient and I'm able to do the things I can, um, in order to perform well, then hey, I am good to go. So anyways, guys, aside from that, um, the workout was pretty basic, nothing too crazy. Um, it was a more of a, you know, kind of CrossFit hit workout. I like to implement a lot of that into my routines because obviously I had to keep my endurance up. So if you guys suck at endurance because a lot of you guys are like, nah, if I can't run, I suck at cardio. Hey man, something I do recommend is slowly start. You know, if you guys can't run even a mile, then start with half a mile or just maybe like a lap or two around the track and slowly work your way up. So for like two weeks, three weeks, just do half a lap or or not even half a lap but like half a mile and then slowly work your way up man you're eventually gonna build that endurance as long as you're eating right putting good food inside your system then hey you're good to go and uh, just keep keep uh, consistency is key so keep running if you want to get better at running that's as simple as that guys same with pull-ups if you guys can't start with pull-ups start with wide grip push-ups slowly work your way up and then wide uh, lap pull downs all that good trash and um, that's definitely what's gonna help you later on in the future um, especially you know before joining so Anyways, guys, if you guys want to help support the Fuego movement, um, yeah, you guys can check out the description. I really appreciate everyone that did. We, we had a major success when it came to the pre-orders. It's still going on, guys, I think, for the rest of the week. So use code NAVA, save 10% off. It really means a lot to me, guys. I'm not trying to preach here like, oh, yeah, Fuego's the new revolutionary pre-workout. It's like the greatest ever. It has like some secret NAVA blend that's going to make you go crazy mode. Like, no, guys, it's your basic pre-workout, no blends, just straight up raw ingredients that I some ingredients that, you know, best fit a pre-workout, you know, some basic ingredients. Hold on, guys. Let me turn that down. You know, I always tell you guys, hey, go fuego or, or live your life in the fuego moment. And what I mean by that is that everyone has that inner fuego that they need to um, reveal to the world. And a lot of people like to hide it. They like to put it away. And, um, you know, this, this, uh, this pre-workout is pretty much saying, hey, man, it's okay. Be who you are as a person. Ignite that inner fuego and just go hard at life, you know? So that's that's the whole concept of Fuego in case you guys are wondering. By the way, Fuego means fire in Spanish in case you guys are wondering, so um, unleash your inner fire. So anyways, guys, aside from that, I will see you guys later on. I'm probably gonna get a post-workout meal after this and um, I'll show you guys the uh, post-workout meal and show you guys the rest of my calories and then uh, I'll kind of update you guys on my macros and whatnot. So definitely stay tuned. Hopefully you guys are at this point in the video. If you are, then comment down below, hashtag uh, loyal subscriber in the comment section below if you're a part of this video. But I love you guys and I'll see y'all in a bit. Yeah, so these these protein cookies are super super good, but they're like super high in calories So it's I, I feel like it's not even worth it like it's like 50 grams of carbs per cookie So I'd rather like have like a whole bowl of rice rather than just that so huh Really don't really know what there is to eat Do it in spicy ones, so I'll probably get two of these And we'll probably Get some water since tomorrow we are gonna be running for quite some time, since tomorrow's gonna be a six mile run. Uh, 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 uh. 30 grams of white rice, and then you got about six ounces of chicken, or about four ounces of chicken, so it's gonna be my last meal, boom. And then we're gonna have the two beef sticks. So yeah, this is gonna wrap it up. Something simple, something light, um, nothing too crazy. And then on top of that, we're gonna chug this whole water because tomorrow we have a six mile run. 14 grams of protein for this thing, so. Um, guys, the, the number one thing is do not be afraid to eat, man. Don't be afraid to eat. Just portion yourself, eat right foods, and that is simply it, guys. Portion control is the key tip to losing weight. So, anyways, this is probably going to be my last meal since tomorrow. I do have a six-mile run, so I don't want to eat too, too heavy. So, this is probably like roughly 400 calories. So, I'm going to end it off here, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the full day of eating. I know it wasn't too crazy, but like I said, keep these tips in mind. You know, eat towards the end of the day. Try not to eat all your calories in the morning. And uh, just keep pushing through, man. I know it sucks. Dieting does suck or losing weight does suck. But keep pushing through because I'm telling you, when you lose weight, you feel a 100 times better. Like, life is way easier. Everything is more convenient because you're light. You feel good. You feel healthy, more confident. So, 
If you guys are going down the same path, comment down below. I truly love you guys. I really appreciate you guys watching this video. Remember, guys, stay hungry, stay humble, stay life, not this. You keep doing you and go about your day. Don't listen to people on the sidelines. You got one life, your life. Make shit happen on the sidelines and mobile life. I love you guys. That's true. That's true. That's right. She's living one way and yeah, I swear I get home.